Good morning, it is Wednesday the 21st of February, so I've got to go into university this morning. Um, I'm still really struggling with the weird symptoms I'm getting from the withdrawal from the meds I stopped taking. And on top of that, I feel like I'm being terrorised because I, when my carer came yesterday, she said, what did the physiotherapist say? And I started telling her about, you know, sitting on an exercise ball and stuff. And she was like, did she say that you should push a trolley around and not use the wheelchair in the house? And I was like, well, she said I should try that. And basically, the um, whole care service has taken this to mean that they're not going to help me anymore if I'm in my electric wheelchair and that they'll only help me if I'm using this wheeled trolley which means I have to walk on my hip but the hip surgeon said that not to do that and that basically that makes it worse and creates more scar tissue that's then got to be cut through during surgery and if I had known that the physiotherapist was going to come along and send a message to my care service telling them not to let me use my wheelchair when she doesn't have any background in the whole medical side of things then I would never have agreed to speak to her but they just manipulate you they say oh this physiotherapist is here to help you um, and then the physiotherapist writes something down without knowing what she's doing um, or without looking anything into my hip injury and then they just take that as fact but when I told them what the hospital consultant said that I shouldn't walk on my hip they ignore that so it's absolute insanity I I don't know what to do anymore I I'm, feel like I'm constantly on the verge of tears because I'm having these people come into my house three times a day and dictate exactly what I have to do even to the point of forcing me to walk on an injured hip um, and I can barely summon up the energy to even face going to university but I don't want to let them beat me down like that so I'm I'm gonna go Hey, so I just got back from university, it's about 2pm. The university is absolutely rubbish recently. Um, the person that runs my part of the course I'm doing hasn't been in for weeks and weeks and he just keeps sending in this other guy who just keeps telling us to like write things on post-its and get into groups and have discussions. But honestly, we're just all sitting there waiting for it to end so that we can leave. Nobody is finding it useful, or very few people are finding it even vaguely useful. Um, and we're obviously not learning anything because we're just randomly sitting there talking to the other students about whatever. Um, so my wheelchair is stuck outside again since I've come home. Uh, because there's no ramp still, obviously. I'm not sure if a carer is even going to be coming today, this afternoon, or not. They haven't told me. So I'm essentially just stuck sitting next to the door for the next four hours or so until my mum gets home. Because even if a carer turns up, all they are allowed to do is make me lunch. They're not allowed to get the wheelchair inside. And I don't know what to do about all this. It's, it's so overwhelming. And I just don't feel like myself at all. I usually deal well with any situation and I always feel happy and I always bounce back 
and I can always take my mind away from the situation and still manage to do something else but at the minute I feel like I'm a prisoner in my own home I feel like I'm a prisoner because these people are coming in and telling me when I can and can't use my wheelchair and when I've got to stand up and walk. There's nobody to help me. It's pointless asking my mum for advice because she's just abusive and more often terrorises me than helps me. and there's nobody else that can actually see what's going on in the way that they're treating me.